Hey guys, how's it going man? My name is Fossey and this is the council. So we still need to go to the uh, first floor and eat, but I decided it's a good idea to have a look around and maybe investigate some stuff. Let's see here. It's always a good option here in this game. I'm a sucker for, for these, uh, these exploration stuff. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. This looks nice, dude. We'll look at these as well. Saturn devouring his son. Oh. Good God, how awful. We already did that. Everything thing. in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Uh, did we see this? Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Huh. Whoa. Devil's done. I want to, I want to cure myself. Wait, this was this year. Okay. So, can I go through here, maybe? Yes. It lags, man. Ah, so this is the first floor. I thought it was, uh... The ground floor. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Hello, Napoleon German, Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted. Vulner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London mm -hmm. is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. <laughs> the French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am Adina. shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. The Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Ah! Fast! It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mm. mention that orphanage <laughs> broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Very funny, sir. Hey. Is Apology. everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Uh, one second, though. Thank you. Just want to see, have a look at this Wellner guy. I need to see this. Johann Christoph von Wellner. Johann Christoph von Wellner is the Prussian Minister of Religion, a friend of King Frederick William II of Prussia. Von Wellner secretly managed the affairs of state. 
former pastor and member of a Masonic lodge, he had all the time he needed to convert, convert his king to his point of view. Together they opened their own lodge under the influence of the Rosicrucians. Passionate about the occult sciences and alchemy, he led a war of religion in this country and fiercely combated the ideas of the Enlightenment. A friend of Sir Gregory Home, von Wellner believes in spiritual alchemy, of which the Materia prim Prima is the human soul. Hello, Nash. Oh? What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. <laughs> Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. Okay. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. My friend. Oh. <laughs> Have you any information on this Napoleon? Uh, let Emily reply. Make an assumption. Make an assumption. I can do that. Or oh, let's let mm -hmm. Emily. Let Emily replies. Yes. Well, what do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost cost them their lives. Uh, please, oh, thank you, that's helpful. Uh -huh. He knows the stuff, dude. Monsieur de Richet, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Oh, -ho. yeah, sure, man. Why not? Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Okay, um... Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Wait a minute. Um. Ah, to be discovered. Shit. Yeah. We have an agreement. No, I cannot agree. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, yes, yeah, sure, right? We have an agreement. Absolutely. 50,000 Louis d'or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only 20,000 Louis d'or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. So, you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. The exact numbers may have escaped me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question. Oh, come I on, like no. I don't know that. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Um, it would need a counter revolution. That we, do, we should reinsert the monarchy. France need a leader. Uh, I can do this, or not? But she is a, he is a revolutionist guy. So let's do this. The revolution was a good thing. Yes. But it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow <gasps> the new system in place. Okay. Ah, you are right. Ah. Monsieur de Richet, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Sure, man. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, am delighted to have met you. Very good. Very good. 
I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. Here, here. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Okay. Oh, it's already ended, okay. Shit, um, success? Yeah, we were very successful, dude. I could have searched Napoleon's room. Wait a minute, no! How? What? I tried every room. I tried every room upstairs. Wait, what? Mm. Okay, but overall we are, we are pretty good, dude. We are pretty good. Look at the experience coming in, man. Yeah. So, four available points. What to do? We have currently Psychology and Vigilance level 2. I think they could stay that way. Now, Agility. Logic. There was... I really want to do this one here. Subterfuge. Discreetly steal items, pick locks, notice falsifications. This is very good. Boom. Level 1. Now I have one available point left. How to do this? Um, conviction. Convince people, but already have level one. So this is kind of okay, I guess. Um, logic and yeah, questioning. One questioning. Okay. All right. Let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. All eyes size you up. Does, that could mean that there is a place uh, very open, right? That everyone is looking at one one another, or it's related to the paintings. For example, in the in the huge huge hall, all paintings are are centered around the the hall, and they're looking looking upon oneself. Um, manuscript to equip. Let me see this. Psychology, politics, etiquette, etiquette. Notes by Dirichet. Oh, okay. And one skill point in science. But science is alright. So, maybe in etiquette. Or in politics. I think etiquette. Okay. So. Okay, this, sorry, but this looks really nice. This looks really, really nice. Uh, what was this? Can I watch it or what? What is this? Yeah, look at this. This, is, this looks really cool with the, with the, fo with the fogginess and everything. Alright. Let me check. Wow, this dinner table. Look at this. Look at the cakes. Oh my god. So hungry right now, but there's nothing here to examine. Fortunately, oh, I can talk to him. Before we do that, let's see. 
Is there any royal jelly here or whatever? The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Mm, okay. All these different keys, man. Reminds me. Unlock! <laughs> I can unlock this now. Yes. Thought the future was very good. Very good decision. I feel space left. I'll retrieve it later. Ah, uh, wait, this royal jelly, right? So let's eat one and. All right. I've retrieved everything. Good, 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 good. So now let's talk to this uh, Piaggi guy here. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing. Your minutes, but I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Yeah, a bit. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, but continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Ah, I'm looking for Medusa. Yes, we're all size. If I said to you, we're all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? Mm, I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Okay, before I do this, let's uh, check some alternate paths here. Um, can I go back, maybe? Do you want to see if I can go back? Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Okay. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Uh, so we got another book here. This is good. Anything else? Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. I can go back, okay. So, let me check some extra things here. It's always good to do some, some extra stuff in this game. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. Yeah. It can't be here. No, no. It's not here, but I want to go upstairs again if I can. Ah, it's locked. This is the other way, too. Shit. Yeah. I wanted to pick some logs, but apparently this is a no-go. Okay. Then we can head straight to the to the main mission here. The main objective. Dining on ham. Well that's very appetizing. What? What is here? Key with an occult earth symbol. I guess this is a new one. Difficulty one, yeah, subterfuge. Ember, you've collected four ember fragments, your maximum Ah oh, yeah, this was the ember with the effort, right, right. Your maximum effort points increased. Amber crystals. Okay. 
then this these things are really good. I need some of the uh, of the servant there, but I can as access them later, I guess. Holy shit! Look at this, dude. What the fuck, man? This is a library. All right. Uh, golden elixir. So there is some stuff to be found. I did not pick up inventory full. Okay, then I eat some. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Oh, do I have it not complete? The uh, the encyclopedia? I guess so, right? Wait, where is it? Here. Yes. One skill point in science, linguistics, and erudition. Nice, dude. A Chinese coin. Okay. I, I guess it's okay. Oh, huh. this looks nice. Oh, my God. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. Just wondering. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should she go and try to find the creature now? No. Oh. Just wondering uh, the value of all this this property here, man. Allegory regarding the Declaration of the Rights of Men. I mean, that's the least you could say. Just look at the size of this portrait here. This is so huge. Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. But I, well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. I guess this is now uh, an education let's play here. Ah, a painting by Ingres. Molière dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Celia. That name means nothing to me. Celia, okay. Can I go outside? I can't go outside right now. So far I like that uh, some areas are blocked off because otherwise it would have been too much here. The mansion is, is huge as it is right now. Okay, so there are these little things. Um, so you can rest up or look at something and... Uh, Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Oh, okay. Golden elixir. Colonel Light Water will give me a little reprieve. Nice. Ah, Francois Premier, Receiving the Holy Family. A painting by Raphael. Ah, oh. François Premier. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he Amber. Amber. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, this one is very famous. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Amber Crystals, The Company by Rembrandt. I like that he's saying thing, some stuff. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I about wonder these... why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about art, and uh, I like that he's saying, saying some stuff about these things, because I, I'm, I'm a noob. In this, in this regard. Okay. Anything else here? Anything, please. Unlock, yes. Devil's Thorn 
I'll keep it. All right. Ah, here's the Medusa. But before we do this, let's check if there is anything else here. Hmm. A painting with no name. This may be Lord Mortimer. Maybe. I don't know. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Okay, I can turn them. I guess. Um, wait, there's something here first. What is this? The origin of myths. A reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Read the page in French. Linguistics locked. Okay. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Ah, okay. So, this should be simple, right? The hero with a sword should facing her. The other ones should uh, divert the eyes. Uh, handle the mechanism. Think about the configuration. Handle the mechanism. Think about the configuration. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. Yes. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? <laughs> Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Okay, um, what's, uh, what's handle the mechanism? Hmm, the mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time. Betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Alright. I guess uh, this is a riddle for the next part. So... Basically, there has to be the the sword has to be facing has to be facing the shield, but also the lantern, right? The lantern also has to be facing the shield. But I thought um, it, in the book they said uh, the shield has to be facing uh, Medusa. But whatever, we'll figure this out in the next episode. I like this these uh, these little puzzles here. I like them. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the episode. I think it's a really really cool game, and uh, I really like the episode here as well. So, um, you can always uh, hit the comment section, think what you, uh, tell me what you think of the game. Um, do you know anything, anything about art here? I mean, I, I know nothing about art, but I find this quite interesting. And, um, it looks good on top of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that. And, yeah, I guess we'll see each other in the next episode of The Council. Take care, guys.